So first things first, I'm just laying some scratch paper on a board just to like draw my design in real format. As you guys can see, I already drew um, what I was picturing to create in my little, little notebook and yeah, so like it, the usual, you'll need some pins, some fabric, some scissors, um, a top that really fits you and that has like a sweetheart shape just to make it easier. So this is my design and it's pretty simple, just a skirt and a top. This is a top, it has like a sweetheart kind of shape. Here I'm just laying down my sample top. Actually this, uh, this top I've made myself um, a while ago. This is pretty much what I want to create for this project. However, it's gonna be it's gonna have like more of a sweetheart shape um, in the breast area and it's gonna be a bit longer. So here I'm just making it more like sweetheart shape so it's more so I'm making it more curved. Now I'm adding half of an inch for seam allowance. For the other side to be equal, I'm just folding my paper in two to just cut out the same exact shape so my top can be equal. So um, these kinds of DIYs, it's really much easier if you just try to create um, with the help of a top that you actually already own. It's just much more simpler. Um, because it's really hard to make, um, it's really hard to sew stuff when you don't have a mannequin and you don't have the really right sizing. Anyways, so here's my dress and I'm just ripping pretty much all of the seam. So I've unseamed um, my dress into two parts, the top and the bottom, well the skirt. And this is my top and I'm just gonna uns unsew, like remove the seam of all the mesh detailing and use all of this fabric as much as possible to make my sweetheart top. So again, I'm just uh, removing the seam. So this is the back of my, the top of my dress and I'm actually gonna use that, that as my, I'm actually gonna use that as my front because it has much more fabric than the back and the back doesn't, the back of my actual set doesn't really need that much fabric. So here I've pinned my prop on the fabric to make it easier to cut out the shape. Um, so yeah, it's just much easier when you pin your prop on your fabric. So here's the front. Okay. And for the back, this was the old, um, the old fabric of the top and I just like cut that straight because the back is just gonna be straight. So like I mentioned in the intro, I wanted to make this double layered so for every piece that, that I'll be cutting with the velvet, I'll be doing the same with another fabric as my lining. I then laid the front and the back right sides together and I pinned the sides and I'm just gonna sew the two sides and I'm gonna do the same to my lining. Um, it's really optional to choose to make lining or not, but it's just that my fabric is really see-through. I've tried it on and like it's really see-through. So here is my velvet two pieces. I'm just flipping that inside out. What I'm doing now is taking my velvet two pieces and inserting the lining inside. So make sure that all these sides are aligned together. Um, you're basically just putting the like two twin pieces together. So here I'm lining the two sweetheart sides together and the back together. And then I'm just going to sew all the, um, the contour of it. So now I'm just unseaming um, what, uh, all the leftover strands that I could get from the mesh and I'm going to use that as my the straps of my top. Fold both of the edges of that strand and then folding it in half and just sewing that across um, just to make like the stra the straps of my top so here you have my the two the strap 
and I'm just cutting it in two because it is enough um, to make two strands. So here's my top and I'm just basing myself on the sample that I'm well my the top this sample top that I made and just pinning it exactly where I sewed sewn my two strands. So now I'm removing the thread wherever I've pinned so I'm able to insert the strap. So here I'm trying to insert um I'm trying to insert the strand inside. Um and remember that the top is right now it's um it's inside out. So here I'm just pinning it. And that's exactly where I'm going to sew. So just keep in mind that right now what you're seeing is the lining and the right sides are actually inside. So now I'm just flipping it inside out and you see here this is what the strands are going to look like after I sewn it and I flip it inside out. Now I'm taking that strand and I'm trying to tuck it inside the hole of the one of the holes of the back. Um and yeah. And Again, I'm just pinning that so I know where I have to sew. And yeah. And this is what it looks like when I flip it inside out. I won't be sewing the hem of the skirt because I the 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 um, the bottom of the skirt is has always already been been hemmed because of the original dress. And yeah, that's the final result. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And this is what it looks like. So it looks really, really well, good. And I got inspired by um, a company. I'll be inserting a picture here. And it looks like pretty much exactly like the product.